The 2020 presidential campaign season has already started in South Carolina. Beto O'Rourke was in Rock Hill today, and a couple other candidates will be around this weekend. Channel 9's Mark Barber was there as the crowd greeted this candidate. There are now more than a dozen Democratic candidates running for president. In a field that crowded, it's going to be hard to stand out. But Beto O'Rourke tells me he thinks he's got what it takes. Me too. The crowd started chanting his name before he even showed up. Me too. When he did show up. We have uh, been on the trail now for eight days. Woo. Voters hung on to every word. One mother even handed him her child. In South Carolina, immigration is one of the biggest issues for voters. O'Rourke promised the crowd he would make immigrants who were brought to the U.S. illegally as children citizens. Those dreamers are teaching in our classrooms. Those dreamers are serving all over the world in our armed forces. The local GOP group responded to O'Rourke's visit by saying, the more attention paid to what Democrats believe, the better it is for Republicans in York County. When it comes to important issues in South Carolina, like abortion and same-sex marriage, O'Rourke's policies are similar to the two other Democratic presidential hopefuls campaigning in Rock Hill tomorrow. New Jersey Senator Cory Booker is visiting a Rock Hill church tomorrow morning, and South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg is visiting a college tomorrow night. I asked Beto O'Rourke what makes him different. The way in which I've served uh, my story from the U.S.-Mexico uh, border, my ability to listen and speak to people in English and Spanish, and the way we campaign where we bring people together instead of tearing them down. Voters like Tanya Williamson say she'll be listening closely to all the candidates to find the one who's right for her. I haven't made up my mind, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm definitely interested in, in what Beto can bring. After his stop here in Rock Hill, O'Rourke went on to Columbia. Now tonight, he's in Charleston, trying to win over more voters. Reporting in Rock Hill, I'm Mark Barber, Channel 9 Witness News.